This is an advanced level repair recommended for those with a high degree of skill and experience. There is a good chance that you will damage your phone even if you know what you're doing. If it's not worth the risk, then by all means, hire a professional. We are not responsible for any damages that you may incur. If you would like us to replace your screen for you, use the mail-in option at goemdwireless.com or follow the link in the video description. Hey, this is Mike from Go Cell Phone Repair and GoMDWireless.com, and today we're going to take a Galaxy S4 with a broken lens, and we are going to make it look almost like new again. This will be the uh, finished product here, product here when we get done. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this phone, which still has a good AMOLED, uh, obviously remove the screen protector if it has one, and we're going to use a special heating plate that is designed to raise the temperature of the adhesive that is behind the glass and actually between the glass and the digitizer to a specified temperature. Um, these do range from anywhere from about 140 to 170 or so Fahrenheit. And once we get them up to temperature, we can actually go in here with the very thin pry tool. You can see he's using a razor blade just to get the prying started. You do want to switch over to something um, not so sharp or pointy and dangerous after you get it opened up. So. Um, again, the temperature on these has to remain constant. If it gets too cool, you will break the AMOLED. If they get too hot, you will burn the AMOLED. So it's kind of a game of just keeping everything at exactly the right temperature by heating it repeatedly during the process. So you can see here he switched over from using a razor blade to a playing card, which just happens to be uh, probably one of the best tools for this job. They have several different items that they sell, but... Um, you will go through a few of these if you perform this process. And again, this is not an easy repair. I just wanted to put this video together to give you guys a look at what the process is like. This does require practice. I would not recommend you start out on your Galaxy S4 by trying to do this repair. There's a very high possibility that you will damage the AMOLED uh, if you attempt this repair. And that is the expensive part on the phone. So, um, on the other side of the coin, if your option is either to buy the pre-assembled part with the AMOLED and the lens, you don't really stand to lose much here by giving this a shot. The only thing is there is a pretty good investment uh, up front in order to perform this repair because you will need the heating plate, you will need the ultraviolet glue, you will need the ultraviolet lights in order to cure the glue. Um, to do the repair properly. Now, there are some people out there who will take the glass off and stick it on with an adhesive, and what happens is over time you'll get dust and bubbles and all kinds of funny stuff under your lens, and it's just not gonna look very nice. So I would suggest if you're not gonna spring for the tools to do the job properly, just go ahead and buy the entire part pre-assembled. We will most likely have them up for sale on the website uh, in the very near future, if not already. You can always visit GoCellPhoneRepair.com, and I do have some links there for where you can get the parts. Otherwise, um, what we're going to do here is just very slowly work through this, and I will speed this up at some point because it's kind of a lengthy process. Uh, this whole repair probably took a good hour or so, but you can see right now he's going between the glass and the digitizer, and again, uh, maintaining a constant temperature, and this is something that you just learn with experience. After you uh, experiment a little bit, find out how your heating plate works, what's too hot, what's too cool, and make sure you get it regulated properly, and then you can very gently, very carefully work between the glass and the digitizer. And again, expect to break the AMOLED the first at least one or two times that you attempt this. They are very sensitive, very easy to break. And one thing that I cannot convey in a video, and that is how much pressure to apply when you're prying on the glass. This is something that is best learned uh, in a, an environment where you have someone who can kind of coach you, show you how to do it, or you've got a lot of spare phones that you have laying around that you can experiment with. Just keep in mind that the glues on these phones varies from one model to the next. So a Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, Galaxy Note, iPhone, uh, LG, whatever you're working with, they all have slightly different variations as far as the adhesive properties that are on the lenses. So there's no one size fits all. You really have to kind of experiment and uh, just learn as you go. And uh, also, this is kind of a behind the scenes video. I wanted to do this during an actual repair and to have all the equipment in the camera shot. This is kind of um, at least the best way that I found to do this first copy. So I'll probably upload some more of these later on. But you can see here the uh, digitizer actually separating from the LCD there. You can kind of see um, right where the playing card is. And he's just working his way very slowly and gently. And with enough patience, 
you can actually get the entire piece off. You do have to be careful down at the bottom near the home button because we've got those soft keys that sometimes stick to the lens and you do not want to cut through them, obviously, because if you do, you'll have to replace that. And that is one of those uh, catch 22s. If you, if your lights on the bottom adjacent to the home button do not turn on, you have to remove the AMOLED from the mid frame in order to replace the part that lights them up. And that will generally mean you're going to break your screen. So uh, it's kind of a bummer, but that is the way that this phone is designed. And we're going to be uh, at the final stage of the removal here in just a second. You can see he's gone back to the razor blade in order to separate these from the lens very carefully. Don't want to cut through the cable. Don't want to scratch anything on the inside, obviously. And definitely want to have a trash can or something below you here because a lot of little splinters of glass are going to be falling all over the place. And you'll also notice he's got a glove on. These surfaces do get very warm to the touch and they will burn you. So um, all the right tools, definitely a necessity. Now the next step here is he will actually remove the um, old glue from the AMOLED and this is another very delicate process. If you've got any little pieces of glass on the surface and you start scraping the glue off, you're definitely going to be uh, cutting if not breaking the display and obviously this would be a very light pressure um, you're kind of watching someone who's already done this several times, so you'll notice that he probably moves a lot faster than you would want to on your, uh, if this was your first experience, and you're going to see him move a lot faster here in just a second, because I'm going to speed the camera up, as this process does take a little while. And once we get all the glue off, we do want to power up the phone and make sure that we're still working with a good AMOLED. You can see it here with the glass removed completely. And we'll go ahead and clean up the surface so that none of that glue or dust is present because anything that is stuck on top of the digitizer right now will create a bubble underneath the lens. And this is what we want to be really careful about. So this surface has got to be spotless clean. Um, and you want to make sure that no dust falls on it during the process. So if you have the luxury of a dust-free environment, that makes it even better. Um, you can see I'm putting the home button on here. Do remember to put the home button on and make sure that the earpiece mesh is installed on the phone because if you put that glass on with the glue and you cure it, it will not come off. That's pretty much a wrap. So um, one thing about this is once you re repair them, the glue is much stickier than the manufacturer's glue and this stuff is not made to be removed again. So hopefully you don't break your screen after the repair. And I'm going to speed this up again just a little bit while he prepares the work area. And now what we're going to do is just clean all the dust off the screen because uh, where we're at, it's constantly dropping. Although you don't really notice it, you will when you go to fix your phone. And there you can see he's got the new glass on the left-hand side. And the application of the Loca glue is the next step. So this is a, a transparent glue. It dries transparent, so um, you won't even see that it's there. But it will bond the glass to the digitizer. And when we install the glass, the main thing is going to be making sure that we have complete coverage of the Loca glue around uh, over the entire surface. And the catch here is that you've got to get enough glue to make sure you completely coat it. And at the same time, you don't want a bunch of glue leaking out around the edges or getting into the proximity sensor or the home button. So again, this is an advanced level repair. I don't recommend anyone rush out and try to start doing this right away. It will take some experimentation. You've got to get a good balance of 
how much glue is enough and where it's going to run out and as you're pushing down here to force the air out of the edges you don't want to damage the screen so um, as you can see quite a bit goes into this there's quite a bit of uh, liability in this repair is a good chance of breaking the screen and again it just takes practice you've got to do a couple to a few before you kind of get it down uh, but once you do the results are very good I mean it comes out looking almost like new in fact we've had a lot of customers say that their phone looks brand new so um, probably worth the Im investment if you're in the business And at this point, what he's going to do is use an ultraviolet flashlight in order to tack down the edges. There are certain parts of the phone that occasionally want to lift up. So what we're going to do is just cure part of the Loca glue to hold it in place so that when we put it under the big light, it will stay that way. So I've seen some comments on videos where people say, hey, you know, can you put the Loca glue out in the sun to cure it if you don't have an ultraviolet lamp? Maybe the only thing is you've got to glue these areas down that tend to lift up around the edges. So you're definitely going to at least need to have the flashlight. And again, the way to do this job properly is to have the um, ultraviolet light so that we can put the entire surface of the phone where the local glue is located under the light so that it will cure properly. So you can see he's very carefully working the bubbles out at this point. You do not want to dry the glue with any bubbles underneath as that can be annoying to look at and obviously your customer will not be very happy. By the way, do not, look, do not shine these lights in anyone's eyes. Um, they are not lasers, but they are ultraviolet, and they will damage your retina if you stare at them. So um, try to stay behind the camera, or you can actually get some goggles that will uh, protect you from these damaging ultraviolet rays, but definitely don't stare at this stuff. And I'm afraid part of the video is blocked um, because we're using an overhead at this point. So bear with me here. We will get to the point where you can actually see the phone in just a moment. All right, and once we're satisfied that all the bubbles are out and we've tacked down the edges, we'll go ahead and put the phone under the light. And the next step, after it comes out, the glue should be dry. We'll polish off the lens so we can check for any imperfections underneath the glass. And then we'll fire it up, and hopefully we've got a display. And there you have it. Boot time on this thing has gotten kind of ridiculous. So <laughs> we're going to speed it up a little bit here. So we can get to the actual phone part where it's working. And there you have it.
If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.